Hi everyone, welcome back to Coyote Ridge. Uh, today I want to talk about an inexpensive piece of surplus gear that you can get that I'm sure you'll be happy with. As always, I want to remind everybody to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's growing, starting to grow a little bit. We're getting closer to the 500 mark. At the 500 mark, I'll be able to start just posting uh, written updates, you know, little blog posts that you see on YouTube that you can comment to. And definitely want to get to a thousand so that YouTube will start sharing the videos more and we can get out there, get the word out there on some of this stuff. But let's get into it today. Today I want to talk about the uh, Swiss Military. M84 canteen set. This is a uh, this is a nice little piece of gear. Uh, <clears throat> I wish I'd uh, got one before I did. Uh, it's a really handy little bottle. The shape of the bottle uh, doesn't really give it away as the military look that most people here in in the U.S. are used to. You know, everybody's used to the. Uh, the USGI style that's uh, got that look to it right there. Uh, the difference in size between these, let me let's get it pulled up like this. As you can see, the, uh, the Swiss version is just a little taller, but yet it's, it's a little more narrow. A little flatter probably um, suits itself well to you know if you just want to throw into a pack the cup is uh, quite a bit smaller uh, but it's it's you know it's still a nice size uh, lends itself to uh, drinking from the cup for beverages really well uh, basically kind of gets the you kind of get the feel and size of your average coffee cup and these are aluminum you can buy these two separate you can get just the canteen or just the canteen cup or you can get them together you can buy them um, just one set or there's a couple places I think that you can get these in sets of three which I really kind of wish I did and may still you can outfit your whole family or whole uh, whole group whatever it is you're doing with with these and uh, they hold a little less than the US canteens let me show you the canteens by themselves they hold just a little less uh, this is 0.8 liters uh, 0.8 liters is uh, a little over eight. You can think of it as a little over eight tenths of a quart. Uh, in liters, I think these come in at 0.94 or nine. I think 0.94 or 0.96. Um, as far as the quart goes, I think these are like 0 0.84, 0 0.86. It's something like that. Um, but they're pretty close. Uh, I carry this on one side of my pack and this on the other. <clears throat> Show you a difference in the size of the cups here. It's not, well, it actually would fit right down inside of that. So you've got a little less volume to, say, cook out of, but still it's handy. I do one of each because this I could be cooking something in this I could make a beverage in and then you have this to eat out of and this to drink out of it still gives you a good option for a container um, I really do really do like them I think it's a good way to go uh, you should definitely try it out though you can pick them up for I think the individual set by itself you can get that for under 10 bucks. I think they're the places that sell these, you can get a set of three for like under 20, possibly around 15. I'm not, I'd have to look again to make sure. But it's the Swiss M84. There's a Swiss 
M32, I believe, which is the older style, more World War II era, that uh, it's even slimmer and smaller, shorter, but it uses a cork. Uh, you know, I, it'd be neat to have one, but, you know, for for moving around much in, in today's modern modern uses and everything it, just having a screw on lid is uh, a lot more beneficial less chance of uh, you know losing the liquid maybe drenching your pack but they don't actually have a dedicated canteen cover for these uh, I've seen people use different canteen pouches from different militaries around the world for these. Uh, possibly the, let's think, say Dutch, maybe. I use mine in a bottle carrier. It works real good and it leaves enough room for other things. I keep my uh, Sawyer Mini system right in the pouch with it in the main compartment and it, it leaves the room for that, that and a uh, titanium uh, spoon and fork set. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a really good option. You know, if you found a pouch that you could even carry on a belt, one or two of these on a belt would be perfect for a hike. And uh, you know kind of not give off the classic military look that everybody's so accustomed to with these. Um, these are st still an awesome piece. Uh, I suggest everybody have one of these also. But this is another option. As you can see it's got the butterfly handles. Just not quite as large as the US version. See a comparison there. I'm not sure if it's showing up well. But they're a really nice little piece of kit. Very, very inexpensive. And, you know, there's no reason that I would think that anybody wouldn't like one. I know, don't know of any kind of lids that are available for this. Um, You'll see these two people will put it over the top. If you wanted to, you could even, or you can get these separate, you could even get a second cup, have one on the top, one on the bottom, and would fit, would fit in a bottle carrier fine. But it does have these little raised nubs. I'm not sure if you can make them out on the body of the canteen. There you can probably see it. And that just allows that to click right on there. The it's silent, you can't can't hear it. It's a it's a it's a nice little kit. I've used the canteen, just take it out of the cup. And I've used that at work. I've just kept that on my desk, my work area and filled it right from the water cooler which is always my plan uh, anything goes down is to top off both these canteens whatever i have with water if something happened that i had to get out of there and possibly walk home you know in the event of a emp or something which uh you know we people have talked about for years but with current events in the world it looking like could be more of a po greater possibility than ever before but it's a it's a nice piece of kit uh, I suggest you pick one up guys so until next time just remember keep your head on a swivel practice whatever you want to be good at and question 